You're probably looking at this street behind me and going, where on earth is she taking us? This is meant to be a holiday. But I promise you, this is kind of like a hidden destination in the CBD. And once you're inside, you feel a million miles away from all this hustle and bustle. There's something quite indulgent about a quick getaway in your own capital city. The Terrace Hotel sits right at the top of St George's Terrace, a refined and elegant oasis in the heart of busy Perth. Good afternoon, Miss Hill. Welcome to the Terrace Hotel. Yeah, let me help you with that. You'll have this one. <laughs> Thank you. This luxury boutique hotel has just 15 rooms, so it's the one place in Perth where all the staff know your name and make you feel extremely special. Welcome to your premier suite, madam. Wow, this is beautiful. Now this is a bed. Four-posted, pillow top, fit for royalty. And me. And did I mention it's a suite, complete with all the modern trimmings, but discreetly blended into the old world decor. There's even a monogrammed yoga mat. But I'm leaving that right where it is today. I much prefer my holidays to be about indulging and relaxing, which is exactly what I'll be doing a little later, once I've found out a bit more about this amazing old building. Down in the bar, I've arranged to meet Perth history buff Richard Offen. It was built in 1891 as a private residence. Then in 1915, it was converted into a boarding house and had another 40 rooms added to it. So it's quite interesting. It's gone full circle from the lower end of the accommodation market right up to the top end. In 1987, it was going to be demolished to put up a high-rise block, but it was rescued by Lord McAlpine. And, of course, it's retained lots of its gorgeous features, like moulded plaster ceilings and this steelwork, which was probably put in in 1915, which all adds to the character and the ambience of the place. I love staying somewhere with this kind of history, but the terrace is also a great place to come and enjoy a drink at the end of a hard day. You can even experience an intimate dinner party in one of the private dining rooms. Including this one here. Would you believe it? This is called the Red Room. Now, if you've seen Fifty Shades of Grey, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Apparently, this is a hit with the ladies. It's adults only, though. Talking food, the hotel's restaurant has won a gold plate award or two, so it's a case of dressing up and staying in. With 3,000 different choices, I've asked for something a little special from the cellar. And I'm in love with this food. The scallops are cooked to perfection, as is the West Australian beef. And the dessert is handmade right here by the Terrace's pastry chef. And the most wonderful thing is at the end of this exquisite meal, sleep is just a staircase away. And isn't this the most divine way to end an awesome day in the city? I've already had my bed turned down for me. Someone has left me chocolates. And tomorrow morning, when everyone is out there rushing to work, I'll be right here enjoying breakfast in bed. Perfect. If you want to live like this, even if it's just for one night, well, there's a special offer for Destination WA viewers. Just head to our website for details.